Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Well, we're ready to have our smoothie, and I've got an announcement. I finished the recliner last night. Yeah, it was about 9 o'clock last night. I worked all day Saturday on it, and then I worked uh, probably about four hours late yesterday afternoon and into the evening, and I have finished it. So we'll show you a little, a uh, quick little uh, uh, video of the chair. It's still in the living room, but uh, we're getting the den all straight, and I'll do a separate video of that tonight, maybe. All right, so we're getting ready to have our smoothie. What we're having is, yesterday I forgot the celery, but today I remembered it, so we're having celery and carrots. Can you all see that? Dates, almond butter down there, kale, and I'm using one cube of the dinosaur kale. That's a little patty of um, sunflower seed pulp, cream of wheat, of course, and the orange. We've got three cubes of orange. And this morning we're having blueberries. So that's about a cup of blueberries and two bananas and the last of the baby spinach. That's why we're going shopping today. So, and I'm going to take y'all with me. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to have to stay in my pocketbook or not, but uh, I'm taking the camera because we might meet someone interesting. Because, um, like when I met the lady uh, buying the fruit, the frozen Great Value Walmart fruit, uh, I didn't have my camera with me, and we were we, we had a really good conversation about smoothies and all. And boy, I wish I'd had my camera with me, but I didn't. So from now on, I just take my camera. All right. So the first thing I'm going to put in is going to be the celery. Now the celery, I bought three bunches I think a week or so ago of the celery, and I'm going to start putting it in the smoothies. I freeze it just like it is, no blanching or anything like that, and then just use a stalk or two a day. I just did forget it yesterday though. Alright, so I'll put the carrots in too. And I'm just going to grind this up a little bit before I put the rest of this stuff in, just because it's a little harder to grind up the whole carrot, so y'all bear with me. put about a half a cup of what? A little more. Half a cup. All right, here we go. Okay, what's that? 15 or 20 seconds to grind that up. All right, now we're going to put the rest of this stuff in. Let's just start out with the banana. I've already, uh, Taking the ends off. I'm using two bananas this morning. Oh, y'all can't see, can you? Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to get my hands cleaned off. All right, hold on. Give me a container to put these peelings in. I already peel the carrot because it was not organic. All right, let me turn this down so you can see there. Wait a minute, right there, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump my blueberries in. They are pretty well thawed out. And then we'll put the, well, let's do the peanut butter now. I'm at the bottom of the barrel on this, but I wanna see if I can't get a lot more of that out. No point in throwing it away. Yeah, this, um, this little spatula gets it cleaned out pretty good. See, still got a little bit down there. But the spatula works better than a spoon for this. Yeah, I was so happy to get that. Oh. Recliner finished. Boy, that's been the hardest thing I have ever recovered. Ever. Alright, so 
sure this stuff is somewhat thawed out. And I use those dates, of course, to sweeten the smooth. Yeah, we're going shopping today and I'm gonna go to uh, get my mammogram and I well I'll talk to you a minute about that. Let me just turn this on and get it going a little bit. I'll put the rest of the water in. Alright, let's just get it going a little bit. leave that and let it thaw out a little more. Okay, so uh, this morning I'm also going to uh, get my mammogram and uh, I get a bone scan. Uh, I used to get them once a year because my mother had osteoporosis and so did my grandmother. And uh, so they scan, they used to scan me for that every year, but I think Maybe because of Obamacare, now I can't have it but every two years. So, that's very interesting. And the other thing was, uh, for some reason, it's to do with the date that you get things done. And I don't remember that before, so uh, I already you know, went to the doctor and had the, the female physical, all that stuff. And so now I had to wait a week before I could get the uh, mammogram and the bone scan. I think it's Obamacare. I don't know. It never happened before. And, you know, we've been doing this same procedure for more years than I care to remember. But this time is different. So anyway, we're going to do that this morning. And then we're going to a Walmart, Bilo, Dollar General and get toilet paper, paper towels, dishwasher detergent. I get Dawn dish detergent for the sink. And uh, let me see what else. Uh, Mr. Bucky likes the coffee creamer at Dollar General, so we try to get that there. And uh, of course, I'm back to getting my meats at Bilo, except for the hamburger. I really like uh, Walmart's hamburger. But the last time when I got the New York Strip steaks, um, they just were not good. And I paid more for them than I did the next time when I got the New York Strip at Bilo. And those steaks were really good. So, I don't know. Hamburger at Walmart's great, or at least at our Walmart. The rest of it, not so much. All right, we're going to finish grinding this up, and then we'll go look at the chair. All right, be right back. Okay, I tasted of this, and I could taste the dinosaur kale. I could. That doesn't work. So I went ahead and juiced two juice oranges and I'm going to put that in and see if that doesn't help. Now we got to uh, blend this just a second. Get that juice in there. You have to kill the taste of the kale. All right, hold on. The, uh, apparently the uh, acidity of oranges takes care of that raw taste of the kale. Now, so we use two cubes of uh, regular kale and one cube of the dinosaur kale. And it does taste to me a lot stronger than regular kale. And again, this morning we are going to uh, freeze the overage and I use that on the weekend, like Saturday and Sunday, and especially it works out on Sunday morning when you get ready for church. It saves a lot of time. All right, let's see how much we've got today. Not as much overage as yesterday, but plenty. So what I do is mix them all together. Then on the weekend, had that much overage this morning. I'll put that in the freezer in just a second. All right, let's give this a good taste this time. See if we kill the taste of the kale. Yes, we did. And all over my teeth. Mm. Very good. Now it tastes like uh, 
blueberries and uh, orange juice, really, or blueberries and orange. And uh, I don't taste the kale, certainly not the carrots or the celery or anything else that I put in there. Uh, and I forgot to mention we put almond and almond butter in there this morning, too. I forgot to mention that. I would describe this as very refreshing. It's sweet and very good. All right, so let's go look at the recliner, and I'm going to put this uh, smoothie ice tray thing in the freezer. We'll be right back. All right, here's the recliner. On Saturday, I worked all day while Mr. Bucky was watching football, and I got all this back on. And then yesterday, in the afternoon and into the evening, I was able to get the back on last night. I thought I did a good job on that back, too, by the way. Yeah, so what we've got, because the springs were broke, we've got a piece of plywood down below this, and I added an extra uh, piece of the foam rubber in there. So part of the reason that this thing was so hard was because it's a pillow top. So... Anyway, there it is. Oh, let me pull it out and let you see. I'll do this. Yeah, yeah there. See, all of this is uh, got foam rubber in it, and it's attached to the cushion up here. Yeah, so that works. It goes back. I put a little WD-40 on some of those connections in there, and it actually goes up and down a lot easier now than it did before and it's also a rocker so it rocks back and forth really smooth now so Mr. Bucky thinks he's got him a new recliner and I like it because the color is going to match in the den in there so tonight uh, we're going to get that den all t back together it's pretty much together now everything but getting the recliner in there and we'll do another little video on it all right we will see y'all next time Maybe we might see you at Walmart if I can figure out how to videotape in there and if I meet somebody interesting. All right, see you later.